What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video today here on my channel, Charleston Car Videos. I hope you're excited because I'm excited to show you a car we just got in. Oh man, this is something super, super special. So stay with us today. You're getting ready to take a look at the 7 Series BMW. Stay with us. Alright everybody, so today I got the keys to a 2009 750 BMW. My god, this is a beautiful vehicle. It's definitely large in size. I mean, this is your big body, long wheelbase vehicle. Now, they have not cleaned it yet. It's still a little dirty. They haven't done anything with it yet other than purchase it and we brought it back to our store. So, I don't know the price just yet on this car, what it's going to go for, but today we're really just going to kind of look at it and see how the condition is on it. We're gonna drive it up the road here, see how it rides, and then maybe by the end of the video, just maybe, I can find out what the price is from the guys you own our store out here. But right now, my goodness gracious, this car is looking clean. I mean, the body's in great shape, the paint looks good, there's no major dents, no major dings on it. Again, 750 Li. Let's go ahead and take a look around a little bit. Here's our key, got the smart key going on there. We're gonna go ahead and hit the trunk button, open that up. Very nice, got a power trunk. Definitely still a little dirty, still got a little candy in the back. Got a little this, got a little that. But once our detail guy gets it cleaned up, oh, it's gonna be so fresh and ready to be sold. You know, but I love showing you all these cars, what they look like when they got traded in at the store or when we bought it. Because I think it's important for y'all to see before and after when you're looking at buying a Highline car like this. You know, because hey, you wanna know how well the previous owner took you know took care of it but anyways this has got a beautiful interior got the wood trim the black all power options and again this is your European luxury so it's gonna be pretty well equipped with a lot of great features on it of course our car detail guy over there is definitely gonna have his work cut out for him I mean he's gonna have to get it all cleaned up you can see where the leather in here should be a little bit brighter color and uh, it's definitely dirty just from past people sitting in the car and driving it I mean you know that's what happens people spend a lot of time inside their vehicles Let's go ahead and see how many miles are on the BMW. That's an important thing. Got the nice big screen in here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Put our foot on the brake. Let's crank it up. There we go. BMW. So mileage is looking pretty good. I mean, it's not 200,000. It's actually 100, 116,000. 836. I have been told that the maintenance was well taken care of on this vehicle and uh, actually was just maintenance at our local BMW dealership here in Charleston um, literally just about a month or so before before we got it here today. So the car has been well maintained and serviced at our local Rick Hendrick BMW dealership. How do we close this door, right? This looks kind of interesting. You got to grab up top here. It does have the soft touch on front and back doors, so basically you don't have to slam them, just barely shut them. They will ease in and, and shut themselves. Um, you know, we don't have suede on the headliner or anything like that, but you do got a nice pretty sunroof here. Um, and we're going to look at all of it today. I'm pretty sure you got heated and cooled seats inside the car, dual climate control. You know, it's going to have a backup camera. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Okay, there's your camera. Right there, you got your guidelines on there, which will move when you're... Uh, you know, moving the steering wheel. As you can see right now, the guidelines are moving as I'm doing that right there. You also have your sensors in the front and the back so you know everything going on with the car. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse, which we already got it in, and we'll go ahead and back the car out. What a quiet car too, folks. I mean, when I'm in here, it's loud because I'm talking a lot, but you know, this is a very quiet vehicle. When you're sitting inside of it, you will not hear a ton of road noise on the outside you know when you're looking at buying a high-end luxury car that's one thing for sure it's going to be a quiet interior let's go ahead and put it in drive and um, that backup camera should stay on for just a few seconds here till we till we hit about five to ten mile an hour okay not bad seems to feel pretty good let's go ahead and um 
drive it over here. Oh, this is definitely a beautiful car. All right, hang with us, guys. We're gonna go grab our dealer tag and we'll be right All right, back. everybody. So uh, we're gonna just take a quick, quick look at the. 750 right now and we're gonna kind of look at that mercedes-benz over there so i pulled both cars up right next to each other to kind of do a comparison on size between the s550 and the 750. i believe both cars are really pretty similar in size i think these are kind of competitors in a sense when people are out car shopping looking at buying big body cars also the audi a8 is one to take a look at again if you're looking at buying a german or european type vehicle uh, we were getting ready to hit out and do a test drive in the BMW, which we still will, but a customer came in, and he's actually walking around a lot right now, and uh, he has said, hey, I live out in Waltonboro, and he said a, a customer or a friend of the family or whatever that's done business out here with us before asked for me to talk to Chad. So, uh, well, wow, thanks, man. The customers that were here earlier today that bought a Mazda 3 from me, she was super excited to buy a car from me. She's been watching our videos here on the car channel and she says it felt like meeting a celebrity. Wow, well thank you so much Michelle for, uh, for doing business with me today and thank you so much for watching my videos on YouTube here. I hope you're watching today as well. Thank you so much. So as you can see, the BMW is so big it hardly even fits in the frame of my camera. I really gotta kinda walk back and get about like that to get a good look at it. I mean, that thing is massive in size. I mean, from wheel to wheel, it's huge. It really is. I'm loving the dark tinted windows though. I mean, it really sets it off with this color. I like that a lot. Also, you'll notice that the sunroof on this car is bigger than your traditional sunroof that you have on that S550 over there. It's just, it seems to be about three inches or so uh, farther back than a traditional sunroof. It doesn't have the pano roof that stretches all the way back to the back seats, but still, that's a pretty good sized sunroof on that one. Let's take a look at our S550. I mean, again, it also is a super long wheelbase car, which seems to be about as long as this one here. I'm sure there's a difference in size, but they look really similar. This car here has 168,000 miles. It's a 2007. It's being sold for $89.95. So here's a 2009 with 116,000 miles. You can only imagine this car probably gonna be over 10 grand, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in that range. I'm still trying to figure it out, but the owners are eating lunch right now. They got some Bojangles, and then when they figure out what they're doing after eating some biscuits and gravy and a little bit of chicken and a Bowberry biscuit, then I'll get inside and figure out what he's gonna sell for. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. Because man, when you're getting inside of a 750, you're gonna want rear leg room for sure. I'm a guy about six foot tall. Check this out, guys. Plenty of leg room in here. I mean, my goodness, that's a massive amount of space. Doesn't have the little thing that folds down so I can put my laptop there and do a little of that. It does have this, and it's got these little things right here that were on the floor, so you can kind of rest your foot like that. There's one on that side as well. You got rear heated seats, your own climate controls. Up top, you got lighting. Of course, you're gonna have your mirrors there that look pretty sweet. Hey guys, hello ladies. <laughs> you know, you got your oh shit handle, your cup or your uh, coat hangers, you got oh crap handles above every window sill. Mirrors on both sides in the back so the ladies can do their makeup and the guys can pop their pimples. Um, but plenty of room. Big old armrest here, which, uh, what's going on with that? Look at this. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Not at all. My goodness gracious. Good thing I just checked that out. So that's definitely going to need, need fixing with our shop in the back. So we'll have to let our mechanic know about that. Which maybe it just popped out of joint. It looks like that comes off like that. You got your ski through right through there. So this is all held up with Velcro, I assume. And then that opens up. A little storage. Where are the cup holders? Cup holders are right there. Very nice. So you got an armrest and cup holders, not a cup rest. Some of y'all that watch me on the regular know what I'm talking about. Anyways, other than that, very spacious in the back. Plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and a beautiful front cockpit. All right, guys, it's now later in the afternoon. I was, well, let's just face it, I was in the middle of filming a review on this and had some customers come on a lot and ended up selling two cars. So now it's about three hours later. The sun's kind of dropping and going down. But while all that was going on, 
Our car guy was, our car detailer guy was able to get the BMW 7 Series all detailed, fresh and clean and washed and all that. So, with that being said, we're gonna snap some pictures of it so we can put it up on Facebook Marketplace and we're gonna take it out for a test drive. So stay with us. All right guys, we're hopping into BMW and we got Mike Tyson driving today. This is Mike Tyson's first time riding with us on the damn test drive, I'm loving it. Let's see how this bad boy works. All right. So everybody, so you know this um, 750 Li has 116,000 miles, and uh, yep, I just broke that. And I'm trying to figure out how to close the door, but we'll get it. Let's see how this puppy rides. Now, what is it about this car that you like? Is it because it's big? It's comfortable? I like it because it's a Twin Turbo 750 Woo. BMW. Dang. Only 116,000 miles on it. What? That's low mileage, guys. Twin Turbo? My lord, that's a lot of power under there out of a V8 motor. Let's see what it does. Also, nav screens look great. They're in good condition in here. Um, it's a very clean car, everybody. Um, also, been well maintained at our local BMW dealership here in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, let's see. This is pretty bright, right? This is nice. You want to show them out? Oh, I got it on camera already. Yeah, we good. So it seems right pretty good. Can you pull into this gas station, Mr. Porter? Let's go ahead and see. Check it out. Guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the BMW is riding nice, man. I tell you, we just got done cruising around on the country roads. Let me let you take a good look at this pretty old car and why we out here today. Man, this is riding in luxury. I mean, this is luxury. Luxury, luxury, luxury. Check it out. I mean, man, if that ain't luxury, I don't know what luxury is, y'all. Man, that's some beautiful luxury. Got the BMW Dynamic Xenons, the LEDs. I mean, my goodness. Got the kidney grill, got the long wheelbase on them. I mean, this is what it's all about, man, is owning a little piece of luxury. Everybody wants it now. You know, everybody wants a nice, luxurious house. But what about a nice, luxurious car? I'm just saying, guess how much? $9,995 for a piece of luxury. Ten grand, you could be buying a 750 Li. My God. What a deal. Let's hop back in. Let's see what this piece of luxury is all about today. All right, everybody, we're trying to get through the road here, but the cop has done block this off. Basically, a man was riding on his bicycle up here just a little while ago, and guess what happened? A car hit him on his bike and ran over his freaking head. Now the guy ain't got a damn head. What do you think the man's gonna do? Wow. Wow, he ain't living no more because his damn head got ran over and got smushed. I ain't gonna show you the video footage, but it's right over there. Oof. You can show them the cops. Yeah, the cops are right over there. Yeah. Man, God, man, I'm, man, dude, I pray for him right now. Lord Jesus, please watch over that man as he enters your gates of heaven right now. God bless his soul. Yeah, God bless his soul. Seriously, guys. Man, more cops down here. Yep. Oh, my Lord. Man, we're gonna have some traffic in Ravenel. We're gonna be on the news tonight. All right, guys, that's it for today. We had a good time driving to 7. 50 LI. If you're interested in buying it, give me a call and uh, I would love to sell it to you. Have a great night. It's Saturday. I'm ready to go home. It's been a long day. Most of the time when I get off of work out here, it's dark. So I'm having an opportunity to go home when the sun's still up. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching as usual. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Charles Car Videos. I really would appreciate that. We'll see you then. Well, guys, as you can see, I was not joking about somebody getting run over by a car. And it's caused traffic all out here where I'm working at today. So, we're doing a detour right now to get on back home. Anyways, thanks for watching, and my goodness. Wow. This is the country.